G'day guys, Rob Forte here. Happy to be on the All-Stars team for 2014. What we've got for you is the uh, Athletes and Judges Movement Standards video. So we're putting a little piece together for judges and athletes. So what we're going to do is cover the signal, so counting good reps, no reps, and also the last five repetitions, so the crowd knows where everyone is at. So it's very important for both the judges and athletes to watch this a couple of times over. This is the judges standards video. So what we're doing is using the deadlift as an example. So the judge is gonna position themselves where they can see all the repetitions. They're gonna count out nice and loud, continue to count up so the athlete can hear it. For some no reps, the judge is gonna signal that and also continue to count the rep. For the last five repetitions, the judge will raise their hand and continue to count up. This is used so the uh, crowd can follow the event. Okay, this is the judge's standards for the squat snatch. So the judge is gonna position themselves where they can see the full movement. The athlete's gonna take the weight from the ground Overhead, we're going to land in a full squat snatch, so crease the hip passing below the top of the knee, standing it up to full extension at the top, so knees are locked out, hips are locked out, weight over the heels. The judge will signal a good lift. Some common no reps would be not hitting full depth in the squat, and the judge is going to signal a no rep. Also, another common no rep would be not controlling the weight at the top. This is a judge's standards video for the power snatch. So judge is going to position themselves where they can see the full movement. And the judge is also going to count out nice and loud for the athlete. And the athlete finishes under control at the top. Also, for the last five repetitions, the judge is going to raise their hand and continue to count up until all the repetitions are completed. This is the deadlift. So it's a traditional deadlift. The hands are gonna start outside the legs with the weight on the ground, and you'll finish with knees locked out, hips locked out, and shoulders finishing just behind the bar at the top. Some common no reps would be bouncing at the bottom. So getting a bent arm and getting a deliberate bounce, and also not finishing at full extension. So make sure you hit those points. This is the standard barbell thruster. So the athlete's going to start with the weight on the shoulders, pass through a full squat, and finish with the barbell locked out overhead. So the knees are going to be locked out, hips are locked out, arms are locked out, and the bar finishes over the middle of the heels. So some common no reps would be not hitting that full squat and not locking out the arms at the top. This is the front squat. So the athlete's going to start with the barbell in the front rack position, Gonna pass through a full squat so the crease of the hip passes below the top of the knee and finishes with the knees locked out and hips locked out at the top. You can squat clean the first rep as long as you pass through a full squat. This is the hang power clean. So the athlete's gonna take the first repetition from the ground into a deadlift position. From there they can then start the hang clean. So starting above the knee, finishing in the front rack position with the knees locked out, hips locked out, and elbows forward of the barbell. So some common no reps would be not landing at full extension at the top, so the knees are still bent, and also not getting the elbows through. This is the bar facing burpee. So the athlete's gonna start with the chest and thighs in contact with the ground, and they're gonna jump over the barbell with a two foot takeoff and two foot landing. So some common no reps would be not getting the chest on the ground, so thighs only, and also a one-footed jump or a step over the bar. If you do a one-footed jump or step over the bar, you don't need to repeat the burpee, you just need to jump over the barbell. This is the kettlebell swing. So the athlete's gonna start with the arms in contact with the thighs at the bottom. You're gonna finish with the kettlebell over the heels. The arms are locked out, hips are locked out, knees are locked out also showing control at the top. So some common no reps would be doing a snatch variation. So bringing the kettlebell up really close to the body and pressing it out, that's gonna be a no rep, it must be a swing. 
So this is the box jump over. So the athlete's gonna start with both feet on the ground and finish on the other side of the box with both feet on the ground. They can get up any way they like. So you can step up, you can jump up, you can clear the whole box as long as you finish on the other side of the box without the hands being in contact with the box through the movement. This is the double under. So to stand a double under where the rope passes under the feet twice per jump. If it hits the feet, that rep will not be counted. This is the pull up. So the movement starts with the arms straight at the bottom and finishes with the chin over the bar at the top. We can do any style of kip. So we can do a conventional kip or we can also do a butterfly kip as long as those two points are hit during the movement. Straight arms at the bottom, chin above at the top. This is a chest to bar pull up. So it's gonna start with the arms straight at the bottom and finish with the chest touching the bar at the top. So we need to uh, make contact with the bar from the collarbone down. Any kip is permitted. So we can do a conventional kip or we can also do a butterfly kip for that movement. This is the bar muscle up. So the athlete's gonna hang off the bar with straight arms. They'll finish the movement with the arms fully locked out on top of the bar. This is the toes to bar. So the athlete's gonna hang from the bar. Heels must come behind the bar at the bottom and both feet must touch the bar at the top inside the hands. Both feet must touch at the same time also. If they touch at different times, then it's gonna be a no rep. Also, if the heels don't come behind the uh, vertical plane of the bar, it's gonna be a no rep. This is the handstand hold. So the movement's gonna begin with the athletes, with the athletes' hands in the designated area and also the feet in contact with the wall in the designated area. There's a simple movement. As long as you achieve those two things, you're good to go. This is the handstand push-up. So the athlete's gonna start with their hands in the designated area. For the movement to begin, the head must touch the ground. And they're gonna finish with the arms locked out and feet in contact with the wall in the designated area. Kipping is also allowed. So they may use the hips to get themselves up as long as they finish in that same position with the arms locked out, feet in contact with the wall in the designated area. So that concludes the movement standards video. So if you guys have any further questions, we'll be doing briefs at each of the events. So we'll answer all of those questions. It's gonna be a really fun event and I'm looking forward to seeing you all there.